Hey football fans, football guy here. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Throwback Thursday. I hope you're enjoying our focus on past football teams as much as I am. Let's start off today's episode with a recap of last week's focus, the 1992 New York Jets. Let's get to it. We kick off our throwback recap of the 1992 New York Jets with the man at the helm, Bruce Coslett. To start the season, Coslett had to deal with quarterback Ken O'Brien, holding out several weeks of training camp and the regular season, forcing him to name Browning Nagel QB1. When O'Brien came back, he was in and out of the lineup due to injuries and was finally put on IR. Coslett also lost two defensive players, Jeff Lagerman and Dennis Bird, to season-ending injuries, and Al Toon retired shortly after suffering the ninth concussion of his career. The 92 Jets finished 4-12 and and were fourth in the AFC East that year. Due to the holdout of veteran QB Ken O'Brien, Coslett turned to second-year man Browning Nagel as the starter. Browning's performance was underwhelming, throwing 17 interceptions with a 49.6 completion percentage. When O'Brien came back from his holdout, he was in and out of the lineup due to injuries. The rushing attack was led by Brad Baxter and Blair Thomas, who combined for over 1,100 yards and six touchdowns. Pat Chaffee provided a spark when he was in the lineup and averaged 6.9 yards per carry. Rob Moore led all receivers with 726 yards and four touchdowns. He would go on to produce two Pro Bowl seasons in 94 and 97. Chris Burkett added another 724 yards, and a young Terrence Mathis added another 316 yards. Mathis would be selected to the Pro Bowl in 1994 when he played for the Atlanta Falcons. Michael Brim played for three teams in his first three seasons and then came over to the Jets in 1991. He became their starting cornerback in 1992 and led the team in interceptions with six and even returned one for a touchdown. Marvin Washington produced eight and a half sacks, one safety, and 62 tackles. He would go on to play for the Broncos and win a Super Bowl ring. Mo Lewis was drafted by the Jets in 91 and was a defensive stud, earning three Pro Bowls and one All-Pro first-team selection over his 13-year career. Johnny Mitchell was selected in the first round and played the first four years of his five-year career with the Jets. 1994 was his best season as he had 58 receptions and 749 yards. Supelia Malamala was selected in the third round and started at offensive tackle in 41 of 62 games. He played his entire career with the Jets. Glenn Cadrez was selected in the sixth round and played three years with the Jets, primarily as a backup. He would go on to play for the Broncos and win two Super Bowls in 1997 and 1998. Okay, now that we've finished our recap, let's see which team we'll be focusing on this week. As always, we'll spin three wheels. The first wheel will determine the team, the second wheel will determine the decade, and the third wheel will tell us the exact year we're gonna focus on. So let's get to it. Team wheel spinning around. Let's see. Vikings, looks like the Patriots. The Saints, New Orleans Saints. Let's see which decade we're gonna go to here. All right. Nineteen eighties. So the nineteen eighty New Orleans Saints. Let's see what year. Oh four. All right. So it looks like uh, we've got our team set. It's going to be the nineteen eighty four New Orleans Saints. So please comment on your favorite memories of players and stories so we can all relive the glory of the past. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the comments.